day everyone. Today I am going to perform applying sterile gown and sterile gloves. Gloves. Gloves method. Today. Okay. Okay, the first step is to state objectives of the procedure. What the objective of this procedure is to enable the nurse to work close to a sterile field and handle objects freely and to protect the clients from becoming contaminated with microorganisms on the nurse's hands, arms, and clothing. And then perform hand hygiene. The rationale of this procedure to reduce the number of microorganisms and then applying a sterile gown. Wraps the sterile gown at near the crease, near, near the neck, holding it away from the body. And allow the gown to unfold freely without touching anything. Okay, the rationale for the first procedure is to maintain the sterility of the gown. And for the second procedure is, the gown will become will be, become unsterile if its outer surface touches of any unsterile objects. Insert hands the sh into the shoulders freely of the gown without touching outside of the gown. To prevent compromising sterile technique and then works the hand down to the sleeves only to the beginning of the cup finger must remain in the cups to protect the sterility of the gown and prepare for the close gloving have a co-worker to grasp the grasp the neckties without touching the outside of the gown prevent any part of the gown from touching non-sterile object And then, pull the gown upward to cover the neckline of the uniform form front and back. Provide a complete coverage of the undergarments. And, I, and then, tie the neck strips to secure and ensure adequate fit. While the hands are still covered, by the sleeves, open the stale grub lapper and return rotates it. Sterile gown cuff can come in contact with the sterile glove's surface. Rotates it so the right is on and the left side is on the right side. This will facilitate the gloving method. And then put the gloves on the non-dominant hand. In my case, my right hand is my non-dominant hand. Pick up the opposite glove with the thumbs and index fingers handling chula. Handling to it and then to the sleeves. The sleeves can come in contact with the sterile gloves. And then place the glove of the opposite cuff thumb side down with the op opening pointed towards the finger. Position the glove 
for application over cuff and keeping the glove keeping keeping the glove sterile then grabs the cuff of the glove through the gown cuff and firmly anchors it like this Position the glove for hand insertion and then with the dominant hand working through the sleeve grabs the upper side of the gloves cuff and stretches over the gown to exactly align the finger and thumb over the glove hand ensuring the correct thickness of gloving and then pulls the sleeve up to draw the up to draw the cuff ever the wrist and extend the fingers to the non-dominant halves the, into the gloves fingers to, to attend the rationale for this is to attend finer adjustments of the glove and then proceed to the next procedure put the glove on the dominant hand place the finger of the glove hand under the cuff of the remaining glove Sterile parts such as sterile, yeah, always remember that. Then extends the finger into the glove while putting over the cuff of the gown for the fingers to be in the correct position. Then pull the sleeves of the gown as a co worker. To hold the long end of the waist tie of the gown using a sterile gloves and of sterile forceps. This approach keeps the tie sterile. And then turn completely around until the tie the co-worker who is holding is in, the, in front of him, of him and takes the tie and secure it to the short tie in front of the gown. Maintaining the rationale of this is to maintain a sterile technique. And then proceed in assisting with the procedure. Then, and then the next step is remove and dispose the soiled gown in a, and gloves in a designated container. Okay, the rationale of this procedure is to prevent spread of microorganisms and then perform hand hygiene to prevent spread of microorganisms and then document that sterile technique was observed in the performance of the procedure ensure that standards are met or me are met in the procedure <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.